Hello, this is Michelle Knight and welcome to a radical August astrology. Not only do we have a full moon and eclipse of the full moon, we have a new moon and eclipse of the sun. Yes, we are in eclipse season, which is all about radical and dramatic change. Our soul is going for a revolution or even through a revolution. Here's your monthly astrology. Scorpio, this month there is a lot of shifts in your energy and you have the opportunity to transform things, particularly in the area of your home and your career. It's emotional, it's intense, it's liberating, but of course it's up to you how you navigate these very interesting waters. I have to say, Mercury, the planet of communication, is going retrograde. So there could be some confusion when it comes to groups of people and who you want to collaborate with. But overall, you are a savvy soul and you know what you've got to do. Keep your wits about you, be intuitive and get on and deal with what you've got to deal with. Particularly, it's about letting go of certain patterns. But let's start at the beginning. And in the beginning, we have Jupiter squaring your ruler, Pluto. Now, Pluto, as you know, is a lord of transformation. And Jupiter is a lord of good fortune and wants us to evolve and stretch and adventure and learn. And when these two are clashing, it can be, it can create within us, and particularly within you, because Pluto is your ruler, this sense that you want to change everything and you're going to do it and you're going to do it big and you're going to do it bold and you go, yeah, I'm going to do it and I don't care about the consequences now. That's quite unlike you because actually you're quite cautious, but you will have this urge maybe to change things and it's how you navigate that energy. Funny enough, you might not be able to put your finger on exactly why you want to change or what it means, but you have this little whispering in your soul and that's because Jupiter is in your 12th house, which is all about intuition. It's all about endings, secrets, mystery. And Pluto is in your position of communication. So somewhat you might, might be that someone says to you, no, I think you're, you're barking up the wrong tree. You're going down the wrong track. And you'll be like, no, I feel it. Don't get into any standoffs. It's not worth it. This is a tricky month to get involved in, in ultimatums and standoffs. This is a month really to reflect, pay attention and use all the knowledge that's coming to you to your advantage later on. Having said that, on the 7th, I believe there's going to be, excuse my squeaky chair, by the way, I believe there's going to be a, an especially good full moon. It is going to involve releasing something. It is going to resolve change, but it's trying Jupiter. So your psychic comfort psychic compass, your psychic antenna is leading the way forward in how you need to deal with this. And it's connected to your home or family or home and family and you are reaching a peak experience it may be that you're just about to move in somewhere move out of somewhere it may be that there's a massive family event or reunion or something going on but it's bringing up a lot of emotion there's a lot of messages coming from your unconscious you may have dreams signs or symbols from your unconscious around your home and family and it's really important to pay attention and if you feel that something's ending or you're shedding something you're right, you're moving on to the next level. It may be that you go on to do something radically different in your home. It may be that you jiggle about with your relationships in terms of your family. You may let someone go. You may invite someone in with forgiveness. Um, but whatever it is, it's important to you. And as I say, it's trying Jupiter and sextile the sun. Also, if a family member is talking to you about your career, it might be wise to listen. I don't know about you, but I certainly, my mother had quite a lot of good advice, I realised, you know, 10 years after she died. I'm, I'm remembering that advice now and going, why didn't I listen to her then? Hello. She she had some nuggets that I kind of dismissed because, you know, I don't know why, because she's my mother and we had a tempestuous relationship. That's another story. But, you know, listen to your family, you know, honour the, the, the wisdom of your elders. And even if you know, you don't agree on everything. There may be one little sentence they say, which is useful to you when it comes to your career. On the 15th, Venus, the planet of love, is opposing Pluto, your ruler. 
Venus is wanting you to be adventurous, to leap out and about and, and to make change uh, and do things differently. And on the one hand, Pluto is facilitating this. But on the other hand, Pluto may be bringing in people that are, are testing you or, or saying to you, you know, are you sure you're making the right decision? But it might make you feel a bit shirty. You might be like, rah, don't tell me what to do. So calm your approach. Be all ears this month, because sometimes the things that are being said to us are valuable, even if we don't see it at the time. With Mars sextile Jupiter on the 20th, use your intuition when it comes to your career, because your, your soul compass is definitely blasting the right things to you, but you've got to pay attention. Now, on the 21st, it's all about a new cycle in your career as we have the new moon and eclipse of the sun. This is a big deal and it's very powerful. So you are letting go of, of wherever you are in your career and you're moving on to the next level. For some people, it's about a change of job. For other people, it's about an extension or, or a going to the next vibrational level of their career. But whatever it is, it, it's big news and it is it's it's also saying to you be very diligent the sun and moon are trying uranus if you really focus on what you're doing if you really pay attention to the details something extraordinary could happen now mars your old ruler and your dear friend is trying saturn on the 22nd and again you're digging in you're laying foundations and you have the opportunity to make more money OK, not everybody's materialistic. Some people don't want any money whatsoever. Put it this way. You are digging your yurts foundations strongly into that soil so it does not blow over when winter comes. You know, whatever it means to you, security and abundance, that's the way it's going. Where am I? OK, the sun is shifting signs on the 22nd and that's leading you into the next chapter. It's the beginning of a new cycle of energy and you're heading towards collaborating and meeting the right collaborators. Because Mercury is going retrograde in your position of collaboration, um, it's you've got to be careful when you're dealing with groups of people and, and collaborations and contracts and social media. Do not be writing anything sarcastic on social media because it will come back to bite you on the bum. It's all about what you put out there possibly being misunderstood. So do be careful. When the sun moves into that energy, you know, it gives you a bit more confidence, but whatever you do, don't be overconfident. You know, really analyze what you're putting out there in the world. Really look at the groups of people you're working with. If there is a misunderstanding, don't freak out. Just think, ah, oh, Mercury's bloody retrograde and handle it with compassion and love. Venus is changing signs on the 26th and you, you're actually falling in love with your career. This whole month, has prime opportunities around your career. Again, if you're not into career, it's about how you see yourself in the world, your service to other people. Finally, is it finally? Oh, Saturn is turning direct. This is great. You might have had to deal with things to do with money that's been a pain in the bum. It's like, oh my God, you know, old credit cards, debts you've been paying off. There may have been responsibilities from the past that caught up with you. That is starting to clear. Now bear in mind, Saturn, you know, plods along slowly, might not be overnight, but you're, you're heading in the right direction and you're laying some proper foundations when it comes to your um, money and finances. And Jupiter sextile Saturn is giving you a, a big old thumbs up. So do the work. Don't worry if you feel a little bit misunderstood in crowds, collaborations or via the web. You know, keep your wits about you and you could achieve a lot, particularly around your career. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.